Hi guys, thank you for coming back and joining us for our second YouTube video. This week's YouTube video, we're going to be going through our new British made bottle cap remover, uh, bottle opener. We're going to make it out of this nice bit of uh, burr elm. Now on this burr elm there's lots of little pips and holes, so the plan is that once we've turned it on the lathe, we're going to fill those little holes up with 15 minute epoxy and some mica powder and we're going to see what results we get. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so now we're over at the lathe. You can see that I've put the roughed up blank into the pen jaws. I've got a Jacob's chuck in the tailstock and I've actually got an 1132 drill bit in the chuck. I'm going to drill this blank to 14 mil. Now, on the bottle stopper kit, the threaded part, uh, including the little tang on the end, measures about 12.5 mil. So by doing it at 14 mil, it will allow us, if we want to, put a small amount of epoxy glue in the end. Um, it just gives you that little bit of extra space. It's not going to affect the design. The handle can be as long as you want. Okay, so we've removed the chuck. We're now going to insert our two moss taper project mandrel. Again, these mandrels are made here in the UK. They're made in the same factory as our project parts. The diameter here and here is 20 mil. The threads are 10 mil. And in the mandrel, we have featured just a little cutout, which will help you clear the threads as you're threading your material on. On a separate note, if you did want to, you could also use a tap, um, a standard 10 mil 1.5 tap, instead of relying on the mandrel to tap your hole for you. But that's entirely up to you. What we're gonna do now in the next part of the video is we're gonna put the mandrel into the headstock. I'm gonna screw on the project blank. I'll then bring up the tail stock just to keep it nice and secure. And then I'm gonna rough it down to a close finished diameter. The reason why it's doing a close finish diameter is that I want to fill some of the holes in the, um, in the burr elm with some resin, just to make it look that little bit different. So I'll move on to a time lapse and we'll take it from there. Okay, so as you can see, we've decided to leave it on the lathe. I've got a silicon mixing tray, some glue mixing sticks. I've got scuba blue mica powder, and I've got 15 minute epoxy. I'm gonna mix all that up. I'll do it on a time-lapse, and then I'm gonna apply it to all these little holes. We'll let it go off, and then we'll sand and see what result we get. Okay, so a little recap on what we've just done. All the little voids that were in that burr elm have now been filled up with 15 minute epoxy. Hopefully, I've managed to get them all. The next job for us will be to spin this up, to sand it back down, and hopefully, if all goes according to plan, it will reveal those little blue dots where those holes used to be. Okay, so I've sanded from 120 up to 600 grit. 
I've then given it a coat of Chestnut Products Sand and Sealer. What I'm going to do now is try and replicate something that I saw done by Phil Irons using Chestnut Acrylic Satin Lacquer and then burnishing it up to a high gloss. Wish me luck. Okay, so we've done five coats of Chestnut Products Satin Lacquer. I'm now going to give it a coat of Yorkshire Grip Microfine. Hopefully that'll take off, off any of the high spots and leave a near mirror finish. as you can see there see all the little blue flecks in it but you can also see how deep a shine that's now got so i'm really happy with that one okay so now what we do we just unscrew it from the mandrel there and this should then screw straight onto that There we are, one finished British made stainless steel bottle opener. Okay, so there we have it. A finished stainless steel British made bottle opener. We finished it with chestnut products, satin lacquer, and Yorkshire Grip Microfine. Now, on a final note, I want to mention the lathe again. We've got raffle tickets up for the lathe. The lathe's worth £5,200. The tickets are £10, and the money from the raffle is going to Kirkwood Hospice in Huddersfield. Okay, so I hope this video has been really helpful for you. On one final note, please follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, or like us on Facebook. Any questions, put them in the comments, drop us an email, or just give us a call. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We've got a special offer attached to this video today. There's 25 lots available. You get a project mandrel and the bottom opener for 20 pounds. The mandrels are normally 15.99 and the bottom openers are normally 7.49. Today, just 20 pound for both of them. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna have a beer. <laughs>